We talk in the undercard fight of Mark Flanagan versus Denis Lebanev. That fight is going to be Pavel Milikov versus Daiki Kaniko. Now, this is a fight between the 11 and 0 versus 26 and 5. Daiki Kaniko. Uh, Pavel is the heavier puncher. Uh, he throws, from what I see, um, crisper combinations, harder combinations. I would say they both understand ring generalship, but yet they don't quite use it to their benefit. But I would give the uh, the ring generalship usage to the edge to Pavel. So in this fight, I see a. Uh, Kaninko, he's going to try and use his range and height to keep the power puncher, uh, Pavel, away from him. Now, Pavel, unlike the other short fighters we've seen in the past weekend, like Shavanov and uh, Ivan Gula, he knows how to triple up the jab, faint, uh, bend over at the waist. He knows how to get inside. And he has a strong jab and a strong hook to get him inside. So it's going to be very interesting to see if uh, Kaninko has the energy to pop shot him off, dance around the ring. And at that, it's going to have to be a point you can only do that for something. You're going to have to earn that respect on the center of the ring. Does he have enough to do all three and stop Pavel from unloading that aggression on him because Pavel once he figures you out he'll start dropping bombs on you three hit combinations four hit combinations and and he throws them with intent to hurt you they're loud th thuds now, I believe Pavel is just gonna break him down slowly slowly walk him down and just eventually stop him with body shots and probably the 10th 10th round that's about it this is double rt boxing mr a please subscribe